Emmanuel is my name. I work for the LDND team um, within Greenwich Camps as um, a registered mental health nurse and a cognitive behavioural therapist. Hi, I'm Jody Mathers and I'm head of SEND Social Care Services for the Royal Borough of Greenwich. An autistic child or a young person might develop an exclusive areas of interest in specific areas. These interests might be life, lifelong or might change over time and are sometimes referred to as obsessions. For an autistic child, being able to engage in special interests might be a way of easing the sense of unease or anxiety that some autistic people experience. Engagement in specific interests offers a sense of happiness, control, mastery and safety. They can find it extremely difficult to change the focus of attention and associated actions. As such, support might be needed to ensure that this is balanced with other everyday activities. Their special interest might become a preoccupation and start to take over their everyday life. At times, they might demonstrate behaviours relating to such interests that have the potential to jeopardise their safety. For example, trying to touch wheels of cars. Autistic young people might become focused on a particular feature of their environment that might seem both a source of fascination but also fear. This is sometimes linked to sensory issues, for example, loud hand dryers. Tips for supporting an autistic child or young person. It might be helpful to engage in focused work with a child or young person about developing their understanding of fears that they might experience. Developing their understanding around illogical or irrational fears through the use of probability might be helpful. Consider gradual exposure where appropriate. It is important to make sure that a child or young person is offered the level of supervision necessary to keep them safe. Relaxation exercises may be helpful to support the child when feeling fearful. Consider ways to support the child to learn to recognize physical signs of anxiety. Where appropriate, help them understand their fight or flight response. Help the child with recognizing anxious thoughts and how to challenge these. For example, looking for evidence against and trying scenarios out. Some children find it helpful to use strategies to externalize fear or anxious thoughts such as a worry monster. Consider using strategies to contain worries and anxieties, such as allocating worry time or encouraging your child to write or draw their worries and put them away. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.